In this video we'll learn about the unique factorization theorem and prime factorization, including product notation. So probably this doesn't all make sense at this moment, but don't worry about it. I think we've done this before when we looked at highest common factors and lowest common multiples. So when we had numbers such as 112, for example, we did prime factorization with the numbers in order to work out the highest common factors and lowest common multiples. So we looked at two first. So does two fit into 112? And it did. And that is 56. Then 56, two can fit into 56 and it would give us 28, 2 times 14 as well, and we can continue with 14, 2 times 7. So, if you look at all these branches, the ending of these branches, they're all prime numbers, and that's what we're doing. So, we're doing prime factorization. It's good practice when you get the prime number to just circle it so it shows that you finished with it. So, 112 is equal to 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 times 7. No matter the order, if you're doing prime factorization of 112, you're still going to get four lots of two and one seven, which we can write as two to the power of four, because there are four of them, times seven. What we've done here is called product notation. So sometimes you can do the working out like this and just give an answer like so. But sometimes it's specified in the question that you need to give the answer using product notation. I'd say always try and get it to this point. So don't stop here, continue even if the question doesn't specify. Let's have a look at another example. We have got 144. So, can this be divided by 2? Yes, it can. 2 times 72. Now, I'm not circling 72 because I can still divide this. It's not a prime number. So, I can divide 72 by 2, and that's going to give me 36. Now 6 can be divided by 6. Now I'm not circling any of them too because they're not prime numbers. So I can still continue till I get prime numbers. So 3 times 2, 3 and 2 are both prime numbers. And as you can see, I'm going to include now all these circled numbers, which are prime numbers. So 144 is equal to 2 times 2 times 3 times 2 times 2 times 3. Order doesn't really matter. So we've got 1, 2, 3, 4 twos so we're going to do 2 to the power of 4 times 3 to the power of 2. Let's try another one. 98. I will start with a 2 but you can start with a 3, a 5, 7, 
11 any prime number so just fit just to fit into 98 it actually does and we get 49 so circling off the prime number 49 can be divided by 7 7 times 7 gives us 49 and they're both prime numbers so we're circling them off so 98 can be written as a product of these prime factors so 2 times 7 times 7 or 2 times 7 to the power of 2.